Hi, this is Marcy at Earth Sky. I spoke with Rick Feinberg of the American Astronomical Society. I asked him how and when to protect your eyes during a total solar eclipse. You have to keep that eye protection on throughout the initial partial phase, which lasts more than an hour, while the moon is slowly gobbling up more and more of the sun. And the safest way to know when to take off the glasses is very simple. Watch until you can't see anything through them and you notice that it has suddenly gotten really dark. Then take them off and you can look at the totally eclipsed sun. It's only about as bright as the full moon. It's just as safe to look at. Uh, the solar corona is a magnificent sight. Um, you know, it stretches out beyond the rim of the moon's dark silhouette. Uh, the, the moon is velvety black. The corona is a very unusual, strange kind of white uh, with streamers and loops and wisps and arches and all kinds of things. Uh, and that's the star of the show during totality. And then how do you know when to put your solar viewers back on? It's pretty easy. Uh, and this applies if you're not looking through telescopes or binoculars, just with your eyes and a solar viewer. At the end of totality, the receding limb of the moon will uncover first a little bead of bright sunlight shining through one of the deep valleys on the moon's limb. And when that bead appears, it suddenly gets light out and you see this incredible sight in the sky. It looks like a diamond ring. This bead of sunlight is a brilliant diamond, and you still can see the corona around the entire rest of the moon's silhouette. That looks like a ring, so you have this diamond ring effect. As soon as you've seen that for a second or two, you'll start to see more and more of the sun uncovered. It's way too bright. Put your solar filters back on at that point. So you're just going to watch this diamond ring at the end of totality for a second or two, and then you're going to put your viewers back on.